Hello and welcome to another video walk around by myself, Parker, and today we're going to be looking at a 2014 GMC Sierra 1500 All-Terrain. This is a four-door, five-passenger, four-by-four in quick silver metallic. Under the hood, you'll find a 4.3-liter V6 engine and you'll be riding on top of 18-inch alloy wheels. Some of your exterior features include running boards and a canopy to give you capability from the job site to the weekend. Now why don't we head inside and see what our Sierra has to offer. Helping us into our GMC Sierra, we have our uh, command start right here on our fob. We have the lock and unlock buttons, and then we have our panic as well. And then we also have our physical key that will help us start the vehicle. So we can press the unlock button once, it'll unlock the driver's side door, and then twice it'll unlock all four. As you can see, we do have our signal light indicator on our mirror, as well as a smaller blind spot mirror as well. So we can use these nice running boards to hop in, opening up the door. And then on our door panel, we have our child locks right here and then window locks as well. We have window buttons and then we have the lock and unlock and then we have some mirror selectors. This one right here will retract the mirrors in. Oh, hello. Pressing them again will bring them back out. And then this one uh, will help us adjust. This is just the selector. You pick whichever one you'd like, and then you move them along. So here's our seat. We have our 10-way adjustable plus our lumbar support with our nice leather seat and some nice styling along there. Leather side with, uh, with some nice cloth accent as well. To the left of our steering wheel on our driver's side, we have our towing capability right here. So we have our trailer brakes. Then we also have our four wheel drive uh, selector, plus we have our headlight selector as well. And then our indicator, or, um, our instrument panel uh, cluster dimmer right there. So we'll pop in, take a seat, pop the keys out of my pocket. Okay. So we'll just pop the key inside. There we go. We'll wait for the beeping to subside. There we go. So there we have our instrument panel, our, our nice instrument cluster to give us all the indicators we might need. We can go through and use the right side here to look through what's going on. Our trip, trip A, trip B, fuel range, oil life, tire pressure, fuel economy, timers and then engine hours so it's nice and easy to look through so we do have 81,573 kilometers on here lots of life left on this truck lots of working hours remaining now that was the right side of uh, the steering wheel so we do have voice command and we have hands free and then on the left hand side we have our cruise control which is nice to have especially for those long trips that we're going to be taking in this thing so we'll look at our entertainment system right now we're just on the uh we're just on the compass, so we'll press home. We can go to our audio system, click that. We have our AM, FM, and then Sirius satellite capabilities as well. And then we'll press radio once again, changing through. We can go back home, looking at our phone. That'll help us pair whatever device we need. And then navigation brings us to our compass. We can look at media. Once again, media is dependent on uh, devices you have paired. So we'll just dismiss that. And we can go to our menu and that'll give us all of our information that we can change right there. So we'll pop that off, dismiss, and we can turn that off. There we go. So just under that we do have our dual climate control system. We can either use the left and right, or so the passenger and driver side with each of these corresponding dials or we can sync them up by pressing the sync button pressing auto automatically heats up the cabin to whatever temperature it might need for room temperature. We have air conditioning for um, summer months and then defrost buttons for the winter months. So here we do have our CD player insert right there. And then we have our heated seats. Both the, uh, the, um, the base and the back are heated. Nice feature there. And then so here we have um, our uh, uh, pedal adjusters. Pressing those can adjust how far the pedal is away from our feet. Traction control, right here we have our cargo light. 
This is our parking assist. We can either put that on or turn it off. Just switch of a button. And then we have our downhill assist as well. Just further down there. Flipping this one open, we have three USB uh, inputs. Here we have two uh, 12 volt DC outlets. And on the right to hand side, we have an AC outlet as well for rapid charging. This actually holds your devices upright with whatever you might need to pop in there so you don't have to have them sliding around. And then we have another portion right here. We can take that off, keep that in. And so we have this portion, we can pop whatever we might need with some chrome finish there. And then two cup holders as well. We can take that out if we need to, but we're not going to. Opening this up, lots of room inside here. You can fit a full forearm for myself. Now that might not be saying much, but it's still a lot of room. And then we do have a space for an auxiliary cord. And then we have a memory card reader right there and two more USB, uh, USB outlets. And then on the left hand side, another 12 volt. So lots of room, lots of stuff to, or uh, so lots of capability to plug in your devices. And then we have another space right here. Going further down in the cabin, we have our locking compartments. Open that up and pop anything we might need to keep out of sight. And then opening that one, we have our literature bin, popping anything we might need in there. Now why don't we head back and take a look at cargo. All right, so here we are looking at the back of our GMC Sierra. A few things to show you here. We do have our canopy, which is fantastic for keeping things safe and out of sight and covered as well. So we have our locking uh, tailgate, and then we also have our rear uh, backup camera. Uh, as you saw, this is the dynamic backup camera that moves um, with your steering wheel. Just on our bumper, we have our parking assist, uh, little pitons there on the bumper. And then we have our uh, trailer receiver, and then seven and four pin plug-in, plus we have our spare tire just there. So we'll pop in here. Twist and open, and then we can let that fall nice and easy. Close that back up. We do have the bed liner, great for protecting our box and giving us a nice look at the back of the GMC Sierra. Here we are taking a final look at your 2014 GMC Sierra 1500 All Terrain. Some other features include a premium Bose surround sound system, heated seats, and a dynamic backup camera to give you all the luxury amenities that you need. But there's so much more I didn't get a chance to show you, so come in and take it for a test drive and see how it fits in with your lifestyle. We're here at Total Northwest Edmonton on the corner of 137th Avenue and St. Albert Trail. Thank you for watching this walk around video. My name is Parker and until we see you, drive safe.